today we will explore the wilderness, which is my yard. Dun, 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 dun. That's the National Geographic thing, I believe. Let's take a, a deep look into each animal, what they're all about, and how they have adapted to, to the environment they live in. This is the famous very popular animal. He loves to frolic and play. That's pretty much it. This is the famous or the infamous kitten slash um, cat. <laughs> it is a calico breed of a short haired. I don't know my cats, but I know that this is a cat. <laughs> and this cat is very, very um, cat like. As you can see, the Shih Tzu, I haven't introduced you to the Papillon yet, but the Papillon is very. Hey! Watch where you're going, boys. Boys and girls. Oh, <laughs> they just crushed the cat. <laughs> If you've seen pr the prior video, you've, you've, you've seen that this is the king of the art. He rules all. Today, let's see if he's, he's vicious or if he's kind. He is kind today. A kind cat. He tells your fortune. Good boy, good boy. This is the long slender tail, his muscular body, his beautiful green eyes, his great reach. He's an amazing cat. Uh oh. As you can see, we have a, a fight brewing out here between the Papillon and the Shih Tzu. They're trying, they're, they're fighting for domination of the yard. Well, domination between them two. They know that. King Cat rules them all. Where is Kitten gone? Poor Kitten. Kitten has been shunned, apparently. Kitten has been shunned to the backyard. Now, where was I? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Let's see. This is the Papillon. He is the noble, noblest of all the breed of dogs. He is the well, the fluffiest. No, not really. Roxy takes that. He's got a big fluffy tail. He's got big, long, beautiful ears. And um, quite stinky at times. <laughs> he probably don't want me telling you that. He's very shy about his stinkiness. Let's see. Where else? Uh, Roxy, get out of that water. The Shih Tzu also goes by the name Roxy. She gave herself that name when she was eating rocks. <laughs> she has collapsed. Poor Roxy. Apparently, I've read up about Shih Tzus and they cannot take cold weather or hot weather. Apparently, they have to have it just right. <laughs> it's too hot, they overheat. It's too cold, they die of freezing. And I've noticed that that's like every animal. All animals have that same quality. Get too cold, you freeze. Get too hot, you die of heat stroke. But Shih Tzus, apparently, they are not equipped to handle temperature drops and temperature rises. It has to stay at perfect 70 degrees. Oh, Gray Cat is showing her dominance. His dominance, I always call him a her for some reason. I think it's an insult. likes to scuttle about the grounds to show off his cuteness. Uh-oh. Gizmo wants to check out this cuteness. The Papillon and the Shih Tzu are admiring this. Oh, what's happening here? <laughs> They're all trying to get on the act. Cat has a wonderful stick. 
<laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Cat could play with anything, apparently. What an adorable gray cat. Even a king can find moments for himself. King of the yard. Uh oh. He's found something very stinky, apparently. All right. I was hoping we would have more adventure today, but apparently everyone's bored shitless. <laughs> no one is doing anything. Roxy, are you bored? All right. Adventure over. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. The thing it goes like that, something like that, the Animal Planet song, or our History Channel. Alright. Signing out. Goodbye, America. Roxy, say goodbye. <laughs>